welcome to another episode of Jay Lowe's Garage. Today we're featuring my 1930 Bentley. Well, sort of a 1930 Bentley. You know, W.O. Bentley liked big engines. Uh, three liters, four and a half liter, six and a half liter, eight liter. He stopped at eight liter. This one's got a 27 liter Merlin aircraft engine. This is the engine that won the air war for Great Britain, shooting down countless Nazi planes. Enough cannot be said about the brave men who flew these magnificent machines. Winston Churchill said it best. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. I was fortunate enough to get a ride in a P-51 Mustang that had a Merlin aircraft engine and got to feel what this thing was like in the air. Just magnificent. You may have seen this car on the English uh, version of Top Gear with Jeremy Clarkson. He raced against a V12 46 liter BMW. Uh, that also had an aero engine in it. Um, it's hard to give you an idea how big this car is. Um, I'll tell you what, let me bring in a car just for proportion's sake. George, come out of here with that Fiat. You all know what, how big a Fiat Abarth is. George, come on, pull us right next to you. There you go. I mean, it, it doesn't even. I mean, look at look at the. Uh, it's probably three of these at least. There you go. All right, George, put it back. Just trying to give you an idea. I'm, I'm just about six feet tall. So look at the windshield is right here on me. Um, it, it's a massive thing. This car was built by uh, Bob Peterson, Peterson Engineering over in England. He just does beautiful, beautiful work, and I was thrilled to see the car on Top Gear. Well, here, let me show you an example of some of the cars he's built over the years. Pretty cool. Here are some pictures of this car under construction, starting with the basic chassis. There's the wood framing there. It took a lot of work to get this car tractable and roadable. It's got modern fuel injection in it. It's got an Allison automatic transmission. It's got electric power steering, all kinds of trick stuff to make it drive and handle like a reasonably modern car. It weighs three tons, a little over three tons. Uh, it's just a massive thing, about 650, 700 horsepower, but loads and loads of torque. As you can see, it seats four people, so you can take the family out if you like. Um, Jeremy Clarkson was quite smitten with this car. He really seemed to like it a lot. I watched him on the show, and he was torn between this and some other kind of supercars. When I talk about more money than brains, this is what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. All the little details are just beautifully done. It really is a fantastic car to drive, and it certainly uh, raises eyebrows when people see it. Like a plus-size model, it carries its weight very well. Um, you don't realize how big it is. And look at the booty on this thing. Massive gas tank. Uh, hilarious. I mean, everything is just oversized. Look at this big giant pillar tank here. Hello? 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 More gas? More gas? More gas? Lock that thing down. Dual exhaust. Look how big they are. And it's a proper four seater car. So, honey, I got it for the family. We can take the kids out. It's not a two seater car. Uh, it stops and handles much better than it has any right to. But the real beauty of this car is the workmanship that Bob did. Beautiful leather. What Bentley used to do was you'd have a wood frame with stretched leather. You'd stretch the leather very tightly and you'd put pieces of rubber between the wood to keep from squeaking. And you'd make these lightweight bodies. Lightweight bodies. The car weighs over three tons. But you try to keep it as light as you can. We're going to put it up on the lift in just a minute. I'll show you the undercarriage. Uh, the dashboard is beautifully laid out, but we'll show you that while we're doing the drive. Let's open the hood and show you what it looks like under there. See, you've got metal guards in there to keep the heat from burning through the leather. Ooh, and it makes a lot of heat. This engine weighs, the engine alone weighs probably 3,500 pounds. As you can see, it's nicely done. Oil filler is right here. Modern fuel injection. Beautiful headers, beautiful stainless steel headers on it. Um, overflow tank here. 
you know, you could probably get 1,000 horsepower out of this if you wanted, but 650, 700. See, I live in a hilly area, and this is just enough to get me over those, so it works out okay. But uh, it's, it's really a lot of fun to drive. It's just, you know, there's nothing on this that would fit a normal Bentley except maybe the headlights because everything is a Bentley plus about another third or a half. All the panels are big, oversized, radiator shell. We really haven't had to do much to it because Bob did a nice job on it. Doesn't overheat, runs pretty well. Um, haven't had any problems with it at all. It's a, just a nice road car. I'll tell you what, I'll put it up on the lift and show you some of the interesting engineering that uh, Bob did on this thing. Looks like an original piece from the 30s, a big rear end back there. This is kind of interesting. These are cooling fins all along here, and we've got electric water pumps back here. An engine like this makes a tremendous amount of heat. It's 27 liters, so it makes all kinds of heat, so you need to cool it. And uh, th these electric pumps augment the mechanical pump, and then you've got these these cool as well. The tubes have these rings on them, and these obviously uh, help cool the water too. There's your big Allison automatic transmission in there. Um, it's a nice mix of old and new. What looks to be uh, vintage drum brakes are actually uh, huge disc brakes hidden in the drums as well. Um, they say everything's all dirty because we drive this thing a lot. We put a lot of miles on it. And of course, your massive engine up here. This thing holds about 17 gallons of oil, some crazy thing like that. This is, looks to be, looks like a blower. It's not, it's an oil cooler. And then you've got a modern alternator down here as well. Here's your water outlets that go all the way back there. We've got electric power steering in it. That helps uh, as well. Um, it's pretty bulletproof, actually. It's, you know, this was built to be somewhat understressed. It wasn't going from maximum horsepower. You could probably get 1,000 horsepower out of this engine if you wanted. It's about 650, 700 horsepower now, something like that, moving three tons. But it's great fun to drive, and the thing that makes it really nice is Bob's workmanship in here. Everything is nicely done, all the fittings. There doesn't seem to be any cut corners anywhere. It just drinks a lot of gas. <laughs> Man, it drinks a lot of gas. It's getting late. Are you almost done? Mr. Lemo, we're closing up. But look how nice and clean everything stays in here. Let's take it down and we'll take it for a ride. You don't realize how big this car is until you see it in relation to other cars on the road. The thing that makes it all the little airplane touches like the uh, the light from the Lancaster bomber and all the other aero switches in it. You feel like you're flying in the Battle of Britain every time you drive this thing. Oh, the oil hasn't gotten anywhere near warm yet. It takes a while to heat up. 17 gallons! You see why Jeremy fell in love with this thing. But I don't know if you ever got to drive it on public roads. I think he only drove it on the test track. You really gotta drive this thing on the street and see it in relationship to other cars. That's where the fun is. And oh my God, the torque! It rides a lot better than it has any right to. But you really do feel like you're flying an airplane. I really think W.O. Bentley would have approved of this car. There was no replacement for displacement. You know, whenever he wanted more power, he didn't go to supercharging or turbocharging. He just went to a bigger engine. And a 27-liter Berlin, you can't get much bigger than that. At 60, you're turning about 1,100 RPM. Oh, this thing is so much fun to drive. The torque just, it's like a steam engine. It just pushes you forward. Let's take it up on the freeway, see how it goes. But. Let's put the camera inside here and we'll show you some of the controls as we're driving. This is a, turn your dash lights on and off. This is for your modern fuel injection, your plug-in. Amp meter, horn, high beam, low beam, turn signals. 
Oil temperature, fan, engine temperature. It's not as bad as it seems. That's at the hottest spot. Oil light, oil pressure, speedo, of course, tack and fuel. Twin magnetos here and your lights and your engine start over here. Most of these fittings are all aircraft. Even got an altimeter here in the rearview mirror. Temperature 80 degrees. Main problem with this car is everybody else is going too slow. And the engine is so under stressed in this application that you never wear it out. I mean, it's true, you can't beat physics, it's a heavy car, but it's like square dancing with a fat lady. The fact that it does it at all is unbelievable. You know, the fun thing about this car is the engine is so under stress. I tend to go on the freeway, I go a couple of hundred miles and it's, it's like the engine's idling all the way. That's our 27 liter Bentley for you. Hey, if you enjoyed this episode, go to YouTube and look up Jeremy Clarkson driving this thing on, around the Dunsford test track. It's a lot of fun. He had a lot of fun with it. Almost as much fun as I had. So we'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye bye.